Hey, what's up, good people? <clears throat> Eric Taylor, Taylor to coaching. I'm back. Pluto. You know Pluto. Pluto and Scorpio. Uh, this is deep. I had to really vibe out on this one. Eric Taylor, Taylor to coaching. Please subscribe, ring the bell. You know what Pluto is. Ruler of Scorpio, the eighth house, Hades, the underworld. Power, sex, death, rebirth, transformation. Secret societies. The occult, astrology, numerology, tarot. Santaria, Bujadria. Black magic, white magic. FBI, CIA, secret societies. Freemason, skull and bones, all of it. Psychology. This is a deep one. Pluto and Scorpio. It's also debt, taxes, inheritance, perversions, sort of after the marriage, secrets, lies, manipulation. It's also healing, purity. This karmic placement of evolving and evolution. It's a generational planet. So even though I skipped Libra, I did Pluto and Virgo first, I had to go to Scorpio because as you look at the glyph, they both were merged together and Libra came to separate them. Virgo was the light side, Scorpio was the dark side. <sighs> this generation, I know you guys well. You're many of my clients, my niece, my nephew. I know people in this generation, younger friends. This is 1983, November, until 1995, around November. So you're talking about people that are, you know, turning 38, people that were uh, 25 turning 26, basically millennials. Now these Pluto placements kind of coincide with the Gen X and you know Generation Z and baby boomers and all that, but sometimes it overlaps a little. Pluto and Scorpio, <clears throat> For you early ones, 83, 84, this is HIV AIDS, crack epidemic. Um, you know, sort of the end of disco, getting in the, you know, heavy metal and hip hop and um, wild movies in the 80s and just this whole, you know. Yeah, I know. Reagan trickle down economics that never happened. Deception and lies. There was a lot going on in the early 80s in America and in the world. Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto, ruler of the eighth house. So Pluto's at home in Scorpio. <clears throat> Couple things. If you're born with the Scorpio sun, moon, or ascendant, your mother had either a difficult pregnancy or a tough childbirth. You can go ask her and talk to her, okay? 95, maybe 98% of the cases. 83, 84, when you were born, you had the Neptune and Uranus, Sagittarius. And your black moon Lilith was in I'm sorry, your North Node was in Gemini, just like it is right now in 2021. 
which I find interesting. There's a lot going on with Uranus and Taurus, and Taurus is the opposite polarity, right? Rule of the second house, Venus, opposite of the Mars and Pluto energy of Scorpio, sensual, money, values, materialistic stuff, beauty, food, fine wine. No, I'm, I'm trying to tell them. <clears throat> and so for Pluto and Scorpio, this generation was born a lot of times with, in divorce, single parent homes, abuse, parents who were doing crack, cocaine, drugs, um, you know, molestation, trauma, crises, pain. A lot of people born between 83 and 95 Your childhood was a little messy, a little tough, a little abusive, a little crazy, a little psychotic, a little sexual. Scorpio is two separate things. So Scorpio sentence is sort of a, a gift and a kiss from the ancestors. But the Scorpio energy, and I call them emotional punks, <clears throat> and it's fixed water very cloak and dagger, very intense, very vague. They want to investigate and learn about you and merge souls when they, you know, penetrate you and have sex with you and the women when they receive you and take you in. This is a very sexual energy. And Pluto and Scorpio, whether you're a sun sign, oh, and Saturn in 83, Saturn was in Scorpio too. So some people might have you older millennials, Pluto and Scorpios, you might have Saturn conjunct Pluto, or at least in the same house in Scorpio. That's deep. Like always, you gotta hit me up, get your birth chart done. You hit me up at, you know, tailored to you coaching at gmail.com so I can break down everything for you. So you understand where your Pluto and Scorpio is at. If it's in the first house, you're transforming your identity. In the fifth house, you're transforming your creativity, your children, your uh, knowledge, your hobbies. Even your, you know, you can go through the gambling addictions. If it's in your sixth house, you can have issues at work, sex at work. Eighth house, a very powerful healer. Receive inheritances. Manipulate your spouse, cheat on your spouse. I mean, you gotta see the whole chart. This is just generalization in terms of that aspect. But <clears throat> this generation, you've got a, a, a calling upon you. But the problem is right now a lot of you are vibrating off of a false bravado confidence and arrogance and to really soar to get from that dark to the light you need some guidance and help from the Pluto and Virgo generation maybe Pluto and Libra you're supposed to get it from the other fixed Pluto and Leo which in most part would be your grandparents and a lot of them aren't doing it, don't want to do it, don't want to deal with you, aren't up to it. But Pluto and Scorpio, a lot of you, especially the younger ones in the 90s, you've got to learn to really respect your elders. Because of being born with this um, iPhone and Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat and you know you guys are masters of technology and you think you create and write your own laws because you do have powers you kind of see through the veils see through the systems and the BS but you're also willing to jump in it 
and, 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 and get that money. And a lot of times you are willing to make the money and sacrifice your heart and soul and want to do it for less work. You don't have, not that you're not capable, but you don't have that foundation of working hard and grinding like that Virgo Capricorn work ethic, which you're right in the middle of, so you're sextiling to, to, <clears throat> to work and work and work to make something perfect and earn and, 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 and excel. But also you're so naturally gifted and powerful, majestic and magical that sometimes, depending on your whole chart, you can manifest and make these things happen without putting in 110%. A lot of you will work two, three jobs, have many ways of earning income. You're hustlers, you grind. <clears throat> but you, you, you miss steps, you don't see other things. Your power comes from letting go of the control and the power. Did, did you hear that? Did you get that? When you surrender, let go and let God, right? Which Virgo's got to learn to be more like Pisces. Well, Scorpio's got to learn, in a sense, to be the opposite and be more like Taurus. Calm down, chill, be patient, be still. Can't control everything. This is where Pluto and Virgo really needs to help you. Because most people don't know how to talk to you. You're so ready for a verbal fight and a jousting and... and um, on the defense because you think you're the only one with the wounds and the scars. A little note to self and memo, we all got them. It's not just your generation. But you're going through your Saturn returns. Some of you have already done it and you're in a semi-cycle. You're not 40 yet. Life kind of starts at 40. People used to say 30, but now it really starts at 40. And for those who are going towards that Saturn returns, you've got to find in your chart and in your life where you've got to become more disciplined to respond to your abilities. So then that way you can lift up that, that, that grip on you that's stunting your spiritual and maturity and your growth in that sense. Because a lot of you, once you hit 40, y'all are gonna be amazing. This generation's got a big responsibility because you have to tr help transform all the things that have been going on with the, the stellium and Pluto in 2020. It's transforming me too. It's transforming the financial structure. It's transforming the government. It's transforming Black Lives Matter, civil rights, equal rights, humanity, the rights for women. And a lot of you are doing it. And a lot of you are still sleeping and caught up in the materialistic rat race and the vanity and the sex, and the power, and the secrets. And that's more lower vibration. Pluto's not just some power source where you're just gonna be about power and sex and control and death and manipulation. This is about a karmic placement of transforming to elevate. You don't wanna crawl on the ground like the scorpion forever and sting people and be vengeful. That's lower vibration, lower mind. So you want to transform, to heal your wounds. That's why I love doing so many of your birth charts because I love giving you the, the guidance, the direction. 
because I'm a Scorpio ascendant with a Virgo sun and Pluto on Virgo. So I know what you need to do and I know how to help you do it. This Uranus and Taurus is gonna bring some sudden changes and sudden events to your life, to everyone. But for you, is it's the opposite polarity. So it, it's, it's gonna hit you in a different way. Just like for Scorpio ascendants, all, you know, we're heading up on uh, the new moon and Aquarius and all this energy and the stellium in the fourth house for Scorpio ascendants and Aquarius. Pluto and Scorpio, you're dealing with that, whatever house it's in for you, it's, it's squaring you now. Saturn, Jupiter, Mercury retrograde, Venus. And the new moon. That will come and go, but this is a time for 2021 and just all this whole pandemic, pandemic we've been going through. It is time for you to eliminate, right? Scorpio is about elimination, rules the sex organs, colon and prostate cancer, ovarian cancer. So when you have that fixed energy, Sometimes you suppress and repress the feelings and emotions that you need to emote and dispense. And a lot of that comes through daily writing, a dream book. You've got to learn to tap in to your higher mind, not your Mercury, your Jupiter. And through surrender, letting go of control and power and, and being humble, and saying sorry and apologizing, right? And these things, then you start to get your superpowers. Then you can manifest anything, then you can heal. And you're gonna get things fatter than just your wallet. Your lesson, your karmic lesson for this generation is how are you ascending so you don't come back into the matrix you can't stand it and you think you can ignore it but you can't some of you try to ignore it some of you try to make your own systems and rules some of you play in this system and and you know kind of like it or whatever but whatever aspect that's on whether it's you know the 25 year old or the 38 year old You still got spiritual homework to do. And I know you can do it. You're amazing women, amazing men. And don't just question the, the internet. Don't just question the knowledge that you get and most of you have lived through COVID, 9-11, all this stuff. You know, there's, um, sometimes you guys make up your own reality because you don't like what you were born into, but that's not gonna serve you long-term. The best way to transform this time trap is through purity, not through debauchery and power and sex and control. And yeah, of course you're gonna have sex. And But you guys are deeper than sex, right? Remember, the Taurus is sensual and the flirt and just, you know, like, oh, the gluttony and the sweet tooth and Venus and, cars and this and that Scorpio is deeper your calling and your assignment 
is merging of souls, but transforming your own. Tap into your Chiron, tap, in, tap into your Jupiter, to your Neptune. This is why you gotta learn astrology and numerology. Now, a lot of people in this generation, you guys are into it. So you're a lot of you are woke in that sense, you're aware. But sometimes, you know, you, you get further with honey than you do with throwing daggers and salt. And trust me, your wisdom comes from listening to the, your elders, especially if they extend their hand. You know, there's, um, <clears throat> you have to understand the concept of mission and legacy. Because as you're called to transform, that's your assignment from God that you can see through your birth chart, your mission, and then that legacy, mid heaven, Rahu North Node, is where you head towards. Who are you? What's your purpose? What's your mission? Kindness is not weakness. Just because you've been attacked doesn't mean that the, the vampire wolf fangs dropping down, bloodthirsty like, ah, revenge. It's meaningless. That's not your power. One of the lines from Rakim, he's like, my only challenge is not to react in violence or whatever, in one of his songs. Sometimes you don't get in the mud fights. You have to be above it. Elevation, Pluto and Scorpio. Because that's what you're called to do and you can do it. When you do it, you can help change and transform and fix the world. You can help heal. You can invent and push the envelope and head, you know, head things into a new direction. Well, you'll do it better from higher vibration than you will from lower. Scorpio is the investigator. FBI, CIA. And I don't mean like the bad side like that, like, you know, like Hoover and stuff, killing Black Panthers and, and, and civil rights leaders. But I mean the investigator, like the true detective that is just and has a mission. And the mission is the light and the purity. That's beautiful, that's powerful. You know, there's a, a deep power with Scorpio, Aquarius, and Pisces. Because in Western tropical astrology, and I use the whole sign system when I do your birth chart, I look at the placets, but whole sign is, is more accurate and more predictive. And I even use principles of Vedic, I'm learning that. But you have co-rulers. Mars, Pluto, Aquarius is Saturn, Uranus, Pisces, Jupiter, Neptune. But with Vedic and Hellenistic, it's just Scorpio, Mars, Aquarius, Saturn, right? These are the traditional rulers, Pisces, Jupiter. And it's the duality of those, right? Because Sagittarius is Jupiter, Saturn is Aquarius, Capricorn, and Mars is Scorpio Aries. So there's the yin yang. 
And you have to find that balance in yourself and in your own life and in your elevation. Sometimes you have to take a step back to take three steps forward and see things clearer or clearly. Do, re, mi, fa, so, you know, like it. You can astral travel. You can I know some of you like to get into, you know, spells and doing this and that. When you have powers and you learn things, you have to do it for righteousness. When you do things for selfish gains or revenge or hurting people, that's the scorpion on the ground crawling. That's not making you ascend. That's going to keep you in the matrix, just so you know. If you're not aware, that's what's going to happen. When you want to soar the phoenix rising to be the eagle, you will teach. You don't give nobody fish. You show them how to fish. You share your numerology and astrology knowledge. You ask questions so you learn. You don't get into silly, repetitive, repetitive arguments that just have you in, you know, caught up in the, the, the going down the rabbit hole of conspiracy theories. I don't even like that term because it's created to make people think that things are not real. Oh, there's truth to conspiracy theories, but there's a percentage. We just saw a bunch of people get misled because they were believing stuff 100%. Sometimes it's 20%, sometimes it's 40. Sometimes you're getting sent a messenger to lie to you on purpose, to mislead you on purpose. To make you think they're telling you something that's real and deep. You have to have spiritual discernment. That's sort of the power of Pluto. Because to really gain and acquire hidden knowledge, there is a level of faith and trust. Scorpios don't like to trust. And sometimes they're afraid of faith. Fears hold you back. There's a healthy fear of not walking through fire, jumping off, uh, you know, Mount Everest. But most Scorpios aren't afraid of anything. They just don't want something to happen and they want to control things. I know I'm a Scorpio ascendant. I can see through you. It's difficult. I've met other Scorpio ascendants. And yes, we have this kiss and gift from the ancestors, but we also, we're gonna go through, and I tell my clients, I tell, you know, Scorpio ascendants, you're gonna go through two to four serious crises or traumas in your life, but you've got to be able to keep walking through the fire because on the other side is a deep healing. You don't get stuck in the mud in your pain. It's hurt people hurt people, right? You have to deal with the trauma and the crises so then you can heal. 
part of your victory and your healing is when you can say sorry, when you can admit to being wrong, when you can be humble, when you can let go, when you sort of ascend to the next fixed sign of Aquarius, of the freedom. There's nothing wrong with being a rebel. Have class and respect. But then learn from the Pluto and Virgo, who's mutable, mutable grounded earth. Who can see you and understand your freaky naughty side. Help you bring out your pure side. The Virgos criticizing you is to make you better. The Scorpio, they can get in that matrix rat race of just getting hurt and then they gotta sting back. That's not the that's not that's not gonna do anything for you. Once you get your chart done and you see what house it's in, you'll see the lesson of how you were sent here for your mission based on that house, your sun sign, your Jupiter, your Chiron, of what you've got to manifest, what you need to heal, how you need to transform, what you need to surrender, how you can elevate and push through so then you can soar. Reach out to me, I will help you, I can help you. I know your potential. And I'm not saying that you're not already great. This isn't that battle or competition. Remember, you're Mars, you're very competitive. It's just, you do it more behind closed doors with the Aries, you see the Aries coming because they're charging at you. Scorpio's more like cloak and dagger, like, uh, you know. <sighs> it's a different energy. It's deep. You're very magnetic. You're very persistent and determined talented I'm talented yes I'm gifted you know but um, you gotta watch your mouth use your mind your spirit your heart You, um, you don't want to always learn lessons face down on the ground. Because that could happen too. So sometimes just tweaking a little bit, just adjusting a little bit. Remember, the car doesn't have to go straight into the wall. If you're heading the wrong direction, turn right, turn left, go reverse, hit the brakes. That's what life's all about. Don't be so fixed water. Don't be cold as ice that you can't adjust, change, heal, transform and grow. Learn to go with the flow. Tap into the Cancer and Pisces polarities. The Taurus. Your trines and your opposition. And Virgo and Capricorns can guide you too. You don't want to be an island all alone. 
and you guys, your next elevation as you pass 40 and your Saturn returns for you younger ones is to read your back. After you gain the knowledge and wisdom, you help Pluto and Capricorn generation. They're gonna need it. After going through this experiment and this whole COVID thing. Now that generation goes all the way from 08 to 2024. I'll do them soon. Probably do Libra and Leo next and then Sag, but I'll get to Capricorn. That's a long time. Some of these people haven't even been born yet. Some of these people are your children. So you have to elevate because now you're starting to get that responsibility that you've got to put the right and proper things, the right ingredients, no more poisons and toxins, organic and vegan and pure. And some of y'all, come on now, stop drinking soda and eating McDonald's and pay attention to your health and nutrition. Especially if you're in your 30s, even late 20s, it's time to wake up. You see what's going on out here. You can't be caught up in, you know, Instagram and Snapchat that much that you're not, you know, forget woke, that you're not aware. Your body's your temple. The colors of the rainbow, your water. Let's grow up. Let's man up. Let's woman up. Pluto and Capricorn needs you. They will need you. Because after Pluto and Leo's gone and Pluto and Virgo, we start to age and go. The world's not going to be as, 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 as dope as we made it, Pluto and Virgo. We brought in protest and revolution. We brought in hip hop. We brought in all that other stuff. That's all I got for you. I got more, but when you get your birth chart done, we can discuss more. So it's time to hit your boy up, taylor2coaching at gmail.com. Join my Patreon family. All right, I got some Pluto Scorpio folks there. Um, thank you for all my subscribers and my Pluto Scorpio people that I do your charts. It's, it's great to meet you and know you. And I, I see you're seeking. You're searching your quest for knowledge. Pluto and Sagittarius is doing it too. You know, you're, you're talking 95, 96 to like 07, 08. They, they want to seek big truths. Right, and they, they don't know what to believe in because everything seems so fake and a lie. And you know that it is, but you know, and you can help teach them internal. Connect to the moon and the sun, the oceans, self-love, transformation. No, you're not the only ones with trauma and crises. Everyone has it. But it's what you do with it, how you evolve and elevate from it and through it. That's, that's the game. That's how you respond to your Saturn abilities. So you get through this Pluto karmic lesson 
and get those downloads from Uranus and Neptune. So you soar and ascend. I got you. You got this. You're built for this. You're ready for this. We need you for this. A real Pluto and Virgo like me and Scorpio ascendant, I want you to be richer than me, better than me, smarter than me. I'm not your enemy, I'm not competing with you. Reach one, teach one. I extend my hand, young lady, young man. I'm giving you the knowledge so we can form the band of my brothers and my sisters. Yes, I'm the real mister. But if you're wrong, I'm gonna tell you you're wrong. If you're not tight, I'm gonna tell you you're not tight. You're not on point, I'm gonna tell you you're not on point. And don't run away and cry. Step up, get better. Right? Like, come on, I'm, I'm gonna keep it real. Like, that halftime show, that was trash. The weekend didn't drop it, he didn't do nothing. I like his voice, he's talented. I don't hate on nobody, but I'm gonna keep it real. Cause I know what quality, skill, talent, work, ethic, and everything looks like and should be and is. Lyrics aren't right. Voice is ill. Capish? I say that with love. And I'll tell it to you too. I'll just be giving out uh, participation trophies. Y'all like that? I listen to the music, it seems like y'all do. Because there's not that much skill coming around from your generation. It's a lot of hot garbage and trash, materialistic, mumbling. Come on now. Wake up, step it up. Be nice and precise with the words you dispense. Always represent, don't be hesitant. All right? Remember, words are life. From the Bible to the Quran, to any spiritual teaching, teachings, the word is life. So you don't just say anything. You watch how you speak, you watch what you rhyme, you watch what you sing. You give love and positivity and elevation to the children. You don't just give them stupid nonsense to keep them low and crawling and killing each other and stupid and ignorant and division and hate. That hurts the entire energy of everybody. Just for a couple of coins? Come on, it's a weak mind. Be better. Demand better, want better, accept better. All right? So, hi, Pluto and Scorpio. Yeah, yeah, I know, the old man preached you to death, you know? <laughs> I know you're like, all right, that's enough. Blah, 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 you know? I'll take that, I'll take those hits. I'm a big boy. That's why I tell you, right? You know, if you come at me with some foolishness or whatever, I'm gonna come back. I'm a NYC MC all day. I only deal in truth and reality. Pluto and Scorpio, I got nothing but love for you. All right? So well, holla at your boy, Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching. Check out your boy, E Complete. He completely spit it greasy for sheezy, my kneesy. You know? It's gonna get better. You're gonna get better. I'm waiting for you. We need you to do it.
2024, all of y'all better be ready. Ring the alarm. The change is coming. Oh, hey. Listen to the earth. Listen to the ocean. Listen to your root chakra, your black moon Lilith, your instincts. Meditate. Take some time to be alone in your thoughts. Write. That's your freedom. Do it. Use it. And don't just rebel without a plan. Always be prepared and have a plan. Stop trying to be so intense, you know? You gotta lighten up, loosen up a little. Don't take yourself so seriously. If you're gonna dance, dance right. Have class manners and be polite. Pluto and Scorpio, it's time to become the light. Nothing but love for you. Eric Taylor, Taylor T. Coaching. Pluto and Scorpio, this generation rules the nation. Peace. Hit me up. Or check out TaylorTCoaching.com. Like I said, the Patreon. Follow me on uh, IG and Facebook at Taylor T. Coaching. Got an astrology group there and my Taylor T. Coaching on Facebook. So two different groups. And, um, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm trying to figure out and get everything going on the clubhouse, but, uh, you know, Patreon, YouTube, IG, Twitter at Taylor2C and at Big3Astrology, hit me up, all right? You won't regret it. You know you won't. Ain't nobody realer than your boy, all right? Capricorn Moon, Virgo Sun, Scorpio Ascendant. I only deal in truth. I don't have time for lies. All right? Eric Taylor, Taylor to you coaching.